welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios, and today we're going to be playing some of The Sims 4 Ultimate Decades Challenge. So today we're going to be starting the episode zero of the Ultimate Decades Challenge, which was created by Morbid Gamer. As you guys may well know, this is just an extension to the original Decades and then the original Ultimate Decades Challenges as well. And yeah, if you'd like links to any of those, I will have them over in the description below. You guys may notice that Create a Sim looks a little bit different. Today, we're going to be creating our first generation, which is starting in the year 1300, the 14th century. That's insane. I have yet to decide on like a name, but first we're going to go ahead and create our air. And this is going to be a very short, just hopefully air creation and then build video. So for our first generation, our air, our first like Basically, our founding sim, this is Leif Carey. Carey means lives near the castle, and I feel ah. like we're going to be in Hemford on Bagley, and Carey, I feel like, makes a lot of sense because they live close to, like, a castle, to a keep that I'm going to uh -huh. put up on the hill at some point. Probably not today, but at some mm. point. And Leif means beloved. Mm. <laughs> so it's not necessarily an English name. It's an old Norse name. But I, the, the sound of the name, Leif Carey, I don't, huh. it sounds so good, doesn't it? And here's his outfit. Um, this is a match of retextured, normal, just like in-game content, plus some just normal, normal in-game content. These shoes are just in the game, and I feel like they work the best for like a medieval shoe as far as that goes. Because I couldn't really find any medieval shoes. Uh, this is technically his winter wear, but this is literally everything um, that he has. His active wear is a tiny bit different. I just switched up what he was wearing. Um, his sleepwear, we have this like long tunic type of thing. Um, his party wear, same. Swimwear, I don't have any CC like swimwear. So I just put on like the, the bottom pants for him. I, I felt like that made sense. Um, hot weather, there we go. I mean, swimwear back then, they probably would have been wearing a shirt too. Hmm. So perhaps like something more like this for swimwear. And then... Here's his hot weather. He just took off his shoes. You know, it's too hot. Doesn't want to wear his shoes. And then cold weather is literally the same thing. All the outfits are the same. That's kind of going to be how it is. And this is his father right here. This is going to be Leoric because of his blonde hair. And we're going to give him very nice long blonde hair. And we'll give him a makeover here in just a second. Okay, so this is going to be his main outfit and probably the outfit that he wears for most of the time. It's a little bit nicer than his son's, in my opinion. It has like kind of like this leathery top, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and there's his hair. That's how we're going to style it. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy all those outfits over really quick and finish that out. So here's going to be the Generation Zero's, like the mother of the founder sim and our backup heirs, which I will get into in a second. This is Winifred. Winifred is English and German roots, and it means peace. So... The mother brings peace. I don't know. It's, I, I liked it. I liked it. Okay, let's mm -hmm. give her a makeover. Also, because I forgot to do it, here's Leoric's full makeover. His everyday formal mm -hmm. athletic wear is a little bit different. Sleep wear is a little bit different than his party. His swim wear is a little bit different again. His hot weather and then his cold weather. Okay, for Winifred, I think I've officially just decided I, I, I can't care too much about the clipping of CC. But I like how she looks from the front. So this is going to be Winifred right here. Now it's just time to go ahead and put all of these as every single other outfit for her really quick. So here is Winifred Carey overall. Again, like I said, I had to get over the fact that her headdress didn't really fit. Hmm. Athletic, I took off the headdress. I don't, I don't know. Sleepwear, I also took it off. There's her party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and then cold weather. Here we go with Petra Carey. Petra is literally stone. <laughs> That's like the meaning behind it, which I thought was kind of funny. Gave her again, very like earthy tone colored stuff. And here's all of everything. Did I put her nightgown on? Yeah, I did. Okay. But yeah, the, also I didn't realize that body hair was a thing until like literally yesterday. And it's so weird to me to see Sims with body hair now. Okay, and we're gonna do one more Sim that's gonna be a possible heir because we're gonna have two backup families while starting this so that way if our family dies or we don't have an heir, we have two more chances with two more family lines. Okay, this is our last sim for this, and I think we're gonna go ahead and name him Arthur. Okay, and here is Arthur Carey. 
he is apparent like Arthur apparently means bear um, or it's like origins are the word for bear. But here's Arthur um, in all of his outfits. Nothing too crazy. The same types of deal or same types of things as I typically do so far. But there we go. That That's just Arthur right there. And this is going to be our starting family, which is absolutely insane, y'all. Absolutely insane. And Leaf is going, or Leaf or Leif is going to be our starting founder sim. So Ooh. right here, I'm going to go ahead and explain some of the starting off rules. So we're going to instantly have to roll for the parents to see if they survive or die. And adulthood isn't... Hmm great for people like they they died pretty young in the middle ages in the 1300s i think i saw the average lifespan was like in the mid 20s late 20s back then ah. so they died young they typically died young so the fact that these people had made it to adulthood in general is pretty impressive we're also gonna have to pay a <laughs> dowry to marry off our teens specifically the female teens i believe so we only have one of them and it's going to only be about 500 simoleons or so for poor, 5,000 for middle, and 10,000 for high class sims. When our heir sim gets married, we get 2,500 simoleons, which is a nice little boost. Sims cannot get divorced until otherwise stated, so they have to stay married to whoever they're married to. So only the eldest male heir can inherit. Hmm. If we don't have that, the eldest female's husband inherits. And if we don't have children, that's what the other two extra side households are for. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game and start building. And here is the Carrie family to get started with. Okay, y'all, now we're here in build mode and some of the CC might be slightly messed up. Uh, whenever I scroll out, her stuff just kind of stretches, which is interesting to say the least. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try to make some sort of house for them. Kind of start to figure out how to make their homestead essentially. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm using CC for the wall. We're using Hemford on Bagley. I tried using some CC like doorways or doors that I got. It doesn't work. So I don't know why those archways and things don't work. So we're going to find one that just kind of looks similar to this. Possibly the one like this rustic archway might be the best. As far as what we have, I, I think it's going to be the best one. I'm kind of looking at houses that would have been for peasants in this era. And a lot of them are definitely just kind of like this kind of house. And then inside it's, it's, it's pretty plain. It's pretty plain. I think maybe we can put a couple of just like window frames in here. I don't, does any, none of my custom content windows want to work and doorways for some reason. So I think we're just going to go ahead and use the ones that we already have that are just kind of open like this. There's some windows. It says that we have to have like some sort of like more ground or stone or some sort of like floor. That's not something that we would typically have today. Dirt or wood or stone walls, for example, is what we can use. So we need to kind of like figure out what we can have for that. I think there's like, yeah, a literally just bottom basement, the floor, which is kind of what I want to use. I just, I think that looks the best. It makes the most sense for this. I did get like a handmade counter CC, which I think is going to come in handy in here for sure. I know that most houses were just kind of like one room houses, but for the purposes of this kind of making sense structurally, I think we're going to make these just like three different bedrooms right here. Cause I think that kind of makes sense. I'm debating doing this. I think we might do the same thing on the other side as well. So I have this little like chamber pot. So I'm just going to have it kind of casually over here off to the side. I do want for eventually someone to be kind of doing like blacksmithing at some point, which this is a woodworking blacksmithing like anvil. So I think that works fairly well. We also have a loot, which I feel like would make sense in a lower income family like this. So we're going to throw that in here, but I don't know. Would a loot make sense? I think it would. And here's going to be our bathtub. I got a wooden bathtub. We have a chamber pot. I'm really hoping that these work off grid. We are going to go ahead and get the old signposts over here, which will help us quite a bit. And we're also going to go ahead and get the rustic well. So this is technically like a fridge. It's like a storage fridge bin type of thing. So this is what we're going to be using for that. And then right here is going to be like the oven or hearth. I also have this big one, but I feel like that just doesn't 
fit this house yet, so we're not gonna use it quite yet. Then here we have a medieval broom for sweeping those pesky pests and messes. I feel like this thing of hanging game is actually very fitting for inside the kitchen. Also, here's this old cart, but you can also sit on it. So that's actually really cool. I quite like it. And then right here is going to be the washing bucket. So that's to like wash their hands inside, chamber pot, toilet, we're good. I'm gonna say that the parents are gonna sleep in this room right here or the current air. And in this room, maybe the two boys, maybe we'll switch that, the two boys in this room and then the daughter is in this room with the least amount of windows. So that way it's not just like casually a window in there with next to her or a bunch of windows. So here we have a table and some chairs. And I know that my CC might not be the most amazing and I understand that and I'm sorry. I will try to get some better CC eventually. I've kind of done some stuff so far. I put a chest in each room and I put a candle on each of them. Didn't put it in the parents' room yet because I, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. We're gonna go to off the grid really quick and I'm gonna go to lighting because this is just, it's, it's something that we're gonna need. So this is the lighting that we can use off the grid in here. And then perhaps we'll have another candle like over here by where we're cooking. I'm not gonna limit this to custom content because off the grid lighting, we probably have some other candles that we could use. Like see like right here, we have some wall sconces that we can use. We're actually using quite a few of these because I, I need it. <laughs> okay, just because I wanna at least be able to do it for now, I, I'm gonna get some of the just normal laundry day stuff so far. And eventually, eventually we'll get more of like a medieval looking laundry, laundry stuff. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can have a thing for cross stitching in here somewhere just for them to have something else to do as well as like the yarn basket. I mean, they would have, they'd probably be able to make something right back here is going to be where we have all of our gardening stuff. I just horribly placed these. Well, this is going to be like our farming area back here. Okay, so I kind of moved the farm into here now, so that way I just, I feel like that makes a little bit more sense, okay? Over here on this side of the building, I decided to make like a little blacksmithing, blacksmithing area slash like a laundry area. Again, I'll get some more like era appropriate items eventually. <laughs> okay, I also just tried hiding some trash cans. Like this is the main trash can, and then we have the little barrel trash can in here. I don't have any CC for that yet and or hampers. I don't have any CC for that. So I'm thinking just the wicker whims basket for now, possibly will just look the best as far as like hampers go. And I think our mailbox, I'm also going to go ahead and kind of just hide over here. So that way, you know, it's, it's just over there. It's over there. We're good. We're golden. It's amazing. Something else that I have installed is religions. So we have the holy book here, which I am going to go ahead and put, I guess, just maybe on one of these chests in one of the bedrooms, just so that way we have it in our house for now. Okay, so here's just kind of like our starter home, pretty much fully finished for the time being. We have this sign, which is going to be very useful for hunting, gathering, doing things like that. We have a well over here as well as the mailbox and the trash can. And then we have our blacksmith station, our place to like wash clothes, and then our clothesline underneath here. And then over here, we do have like our farming area with this big bale of hay, the small bale of hay, and this is gonna be for our animals down over in here. So yeah, that's what we have so far. But, yeah, and then inside the house in here, we have, this is kind of like the bathroom room. Um, I did put a baby cradle here. I don't know if I forgot to install the mod that allows me to get put babies just kind of like floating places. I guess we'll see once we have our first baby. And here is kind of like the chest area, storage area for now. Kitchen, random things for them to do, some chairs, um, a bunch of beds just along here, the Bible or the holy book, as well as our cookbook right here. So I just, I thought this made the most sense for the time being. I don't know, it might just be me. But yeah, there's just kind of like our little, our little starter home. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to just go ahead and save it really quick because I don't want to lose any of my stuff, you know? Okay, so some things that I just did is I bought a computer really quick to go ahead and mess with the pregnancy percentage. As teens, your pregnancy percent is 30%. So we can't quite marry off and start trying to get pregnant yet. 
but once we can, it'll be at 30% and set and ready to go for that. I also just disabled auto aging for our plate household. For the other households, I honestly don't care enough to keep them from aging. If it's a plate household, they won't age unless we do it. All other households will age on their own, however, so that way I don't have to keep track of literally every single sim. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come into the calendar and we're going to be, you know, going through here and getting rid of like all of these. Okay, I have most of the holidays in here. The only issue I have is I don't know how to get rid of all of this stuff because there's like festivals and then there's prom, which I literally can't delete. So I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't know if it'll go away once they become young adults or once they're no longer teenagers or something. But yeah, this is supposed to be May Day right here. I might add May Day down here for now, but the holidays that we have tomorrow already is going to be Easter, um, which is attending church, which is a holiday ceremony is what I put on there. And then we have All Fool's Day for April. And then down here we have Christmas. We have Twelfth Night which Twelfth Night is a religious festival and feast celebrating the visit of the wise men. And then St. Valentine's Day is obviously Valentine's Day, and it's in February, which again, I kind of wish I could put more like here or here, but neither of those days will let me add an event or anything. Um, events you can't add, and I can't add a holiday when there's already a gold event scheduled which I don't know if it's this or if it's the exam thing scheduled or what it is, but apparently I can't add a holiday there, which is super frustrating. Hopefully, like when we don't have teens, I'll go back in and add more holidays. But that is that. So to go ahead and get started here, we do actually need to roll a D20. So for the adults, you can roll anything less than the nine and that will end up killing them. So... <laughs> Um, we're gonna see what Leoric what rolls. We're gonna do him first and let's go ahead and see. So there's our D12. Let's go ahead and roll. Something higher than a, less than nine. It's a nine. Wait, so does that mean I'm gonna say he survived just because I want for him to survive. And then we have to roll a D10. So we have to roll a D10 to find out how many years he'll actually survive. So let's go ahead and roll this really quick. He'll survive for four total years after this year, I suppose. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and roll for Winifred to see if she survives. So let's go ahead and roll here. Anything better than a nut? She does not survive, she dies. She instantly dies in this series. That's insane, okay. Well, those are the rules. <laughs> okay, so with MC Command Center, can we, how do we kill her? Okay, this one kind of makes sense. Death by freezing. Maybe she froze to death in the winter. Yes, we're going to kill Winifred. Death by freezing. Which, there we go. She's gone. Winifred, I am so sorry. But Winifred died by freezing. Already in the year 1300. That's insane. We didn't even get to have her for more than that. But we do still have the father. He's a widower now which is sad. Ignore the fact that um, Leif is not the eldest child, apparently. He is. He definitely is. It's just sometimes it doesn't want to show it. So there we go. That's going to be the first episode. We just found out that Winifred died and everyone else survived. So I think technically Leon was supposed to die as, or Leoric, Leon, Leoric was supposed to die as well. But I didn't want that. So we decided not to have that happen. I hope you guys are enjoying, enjoyed this like little really quick boom, boom, boom. I don't know how quick it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. We will jump into the series again very soon. I will see you guys all then. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out this series right over here and this playlist right below it. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day.